my life is quite literally a movie. I'm Abib Mbus Kamara Smith, and this is my story. What were your chances for success in this world? For success, there was none. My story began prior to my birth. Uh, my mother was born in Kisi Village, Freetown, Sierra Leone. You know, from then on, basically, a lot of events occurred, starting off, first of all, with the demise of my father. My father alone was um, a high up member of a very, I wouldn't say terrorist, but very rebellious organization known as the Gengbani Secret Society. Um, during the same period, I did have an older brother at this stage. Um, his name was Michael. Um, so Michael, during this 2000 of August time period, he also demised. The reasoning behind his death w remains a bit unknown, um, but everyone knows, and I know myself, it is predominantly due to my father. I believe it was May 2005, my mother contracted typhoon fever. For when they said that same thing to, your mother's gone. I kept always looking over my shoulder waiting to see if she would come and a very distinctive moment actually is on my birthday after her demise I was looking around because obviously every year I'd got a gift to my mother and then this year I did not. So I reckon at that point I would have processed and realised or started to comprehend the fact that she would never be returning. Fortunately for me as you can see now, uh, my mother prior to doing or contracting this uh, illness um, actually finalised and signed an offshore humanitarian visa for my travel. She was going through the hardest time of her lives and still put, put me first. So she put me before everyone else and clearly I'm here benefiting from it and I say thank you to that. I understand it was a loss, but fortunately for me, I gained a, an equally, if not you know, stronger mother, um, which is of course Willie Smith. An adoption agency in Australia had organised a family for me. I did not feel like I entirely belonged in the Smiths all the way until the adoptions papers processed through it. They helped me out through everything, helped me with every struggle, but me I always felt like a bit of an outsider or an outcast until I was officially given the surname title Smith. So I kept referring to Willie and Anthony or my mum and dad um, as Uncle Anthony, Uncle Willie. Um, and my dad one day just said to me, you can call me dad. And I, I, at this stage, I just realised they are my mum and dad now. This is my family now. And the fact they accepted me, it, it, I felt like I was, I was at home and the Smiths were my new family. Bass was my older brother. Um, he was basically smack bam in the middle, really, of you know, all my siblings in um, Australia. Um, Bass, to me, was basically my first best friend. I learned everything through him. And basically Bass was, we liked to consider him, or the teachers used to consider him as our little guardian angel. So he used to take care of us when it came down to anything. So it'd be someone picking on me or Isaac, Bass was there. Um, but Bass basically committed or fell victim to suicide. What he means to me, an older brother we looked up to throughout our early ages. And even to this day, I will do something on a daily basis, we'll remember. Yeah, I, I hate to admit it, we'll remember, Bass was better at us at doing this. Bass was better at us at doing that. Biggest achievement in my life would most likely be university. So graduating with a biomedical science degree. Um, at the University of Queensland. I initially downplayed it, but then I took perspective. I understood that, you know, Bass wasn't able to go this far in, in life as well. Um, Michael wasn't able to go this far in life. Uh, my mum and dad weren't able to, you know, see that in my life. And as such, me understanding the perspective gave me a bit of light to understand that this achievement should not be taken lightly. I'm very proud of where I've been. Um, and I'm even more grateful of the people and the figures in my life that helped me to get to this point in my life. Me in Africa, life could have been completely different, could have been a lot worse, and every time time is as dark here in Australia, 
I think it could be a lot worse. It's all, in my head, it's all about perspective. The location I'm at right now in my life is just something that I'm, I just can't comprehend it. it it's, it's something that I'm very grateful about and something that I've just been blessed with. Younger Abib was standing in front of me. Um, I would most likely tell him, I, I really don't know because, oh, I'd probably tell him, look up, life is gonna be a lot better. Just keep going, listen to Willie and Anthony because everything they're telling you, it will pay off.